Henderson is with us now. His new book is titled Trouble. Uh, congratulations on the success on the book. We appreciate you being with us. In the book, you write a lot about the problems of luxury beliefs. How do you define those? Yeah, thank you, Leland. Well, luxury beliefs are ideas and opinions that confer status on the elite while often inflicting costs on the lower classes. And toward the end of Troubled, I describe the sort of sociological framework and the empirical findings sort of undergirding this. But it was a, a concept that I, I developed during my experiences and, and studies at Yale and then later when I was doing my PhD at Cambridge. But a lot of it did develop out of my early life experiences living in the foster system in Los Angeles and then through a series of kind of uh, fragmented families uh, later when I was adopted into this working class community in Northern California and then in the military and then to college. And so I've just had a sort of varied life and the luxury beliefs idea was, was born out of that. And a key feature of a luxury belief is that the believer is sheltered from the consequences of his or her beliefs. And I saw that clearly uh, in, in a variety of different elite universities. Fascinating. I, I think sort of the soft bigotry of low expectations plays into that, if I have it correctly uh, understood. For every male foster kid like me who obtains a college degree, you wrote, 20 are locked up. Is, is the answer now we give young troubled men a choice like they did in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s? You either uh, go to boot camp or you go to jail on their first defense? You know, I, I don't think it needs to be that extreme, but I do think that the importance of structure, uh, constraints, boundaries, all of those things that I lacked, uh, all of the sort of neglect and oversight throughout my early life, uh, and, then, and then later, uh, when I was adopted into this kind of deteriorating working class community where there was a lot of divorce and single parenthood and poverty and addiction, and all of those things are the, in large part, the result of, of luxury beliefs. You have said the term working class a couple of times. Is the divide now in America not so much red and blue, but working class versus elite? Oh, I, I definitely uh, agree with that. I mean, you know, I've I've seen you know sort of every uh, strata of American society in terms of social class, and you know, I, I yeah, I've, I've seen that uh, two college you know a college educated Republican and a college educated Democrat uh, have much more in common in terms of their outlook, their hopes, their aspirations, their lifestyles mm -hmm. uh, relative to you know if you take a. a, a, a working class Democrat versus a college educated Democrat. And you can see this in statistics and survey data. I mean, the gap between classes in terms of who was supporting defund the police, it was much wider across classes than it was right. between Democrats and Republicans. Rob, I, I want to just get one quick thing in. And look, you're an extraordinary young man in every way, uh, shape and form. Um, and what you've been able to accomplish is extraordinary. I think a, a lot of people would be watching this and go, OK, there's always the one in one in a couple of million, right? The kid who is so extraordinary and so driven, and that's Rob Henderson. Everybody else is is just not like that and can't pull themselves up by the bootstraps. I'm wondering if you feel as though you succeeded because of the system or despite the system, and the system needs to change to create more Rob Hendersons. Uh, I succeeded despite it. Uh, you know, I, I emphasized throughout the book, I wouldn't wish these experiences on anyone. Um, you know, I, I, I don't believe in this idea of, you know, struggle and difficulty. I mean, up to a point it can help, but not that extreme level of chaos and disorder that I experienced. I think almost anyone who, I mean, there's, you know, you cited those statistics earlier, 20, 20 times more uh, foster kids go to jail than graduate from college, you know, foster, foster boys. And so I think that's indicative of the fact that the system is extremely uh, uh, detrimental. Rob, uh, it's an extraordinary book. It's an extraordinary story. One people need to pay attention to. I would, I would only add, it's a system created by the elites, right? That that has that has uh, become such a, a a problem for for so many like yourself and so many more around America like yourself. A memoir of foster care, family, and social class troubled uh, by Rob Henderson. Rob, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.